Okay, so let's get into Angel, episode 17, Eternity. Let's go, three, two, one. Maybe we can make a break for it. Impossible. Front exit. Maybe spotted instantly. Back door. Blocked. What's going on? That's it then. We're trapped. We might try shooting fire. It's not technically a crowded theater. One day I might. Yes. Okay, Cordy. Years from now. When Torvald is not as devoted to me. I never thought I knew eternity. I good? I, mean, I wouldn't say it if I didn't think so. Thanks. You didn't say it. I, did. I don't believe it. Right. Hey, well, you know, it was a night in the theater I'll never forget. That's Oliver she Simon. Beautiful. Who? Beautiful. You played Raven in On Your Own. Big hit television show. It was only on for like nine and a half years. Do either of you even own a television? Oh, wow. I know. Does she grow up on the show? It was a seminal show. Cancelled by the idiot network. I was gonna pick at them, but I didn't have any comfortable. Angel! Angel! Oh my god, Rebecca. Listen, the way Cordy was terrified for Angel, like, we know he'll be fine, but still, wow. Oh my god, what was she like? <laughs> I take her back. Excuse me, are you alright? doesn't. I'm sure he'll accept a small reward anyway. No thanks. We're not gonna be held up here. Oliver Down, I mean, he doesn't know who I am. He's culturally retarded that way. We have a nice photo of Cordelia's elbow and an article about me saving a TV star. Just because the papers want to make There's it. no mention of you. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh. Oh. So. You never really saw even one single episode of On Your Own? No. Huh. Well, How big by. of a show is it? Like, I'll give you a private screening of the episode I didn't win the Emmy for. Oh, wow, Emmys. Okay, we'll see. The car that rained you down was a green, freshly painted 76 Chevy Nova. I caught the plates, ran the vehicle ID, it was stolen. And I'm sorry. Oh, he already started on it. Oh, Angel's so sweet. Are you insane? <laughs> I don't Courtney understand. heard there was not money being made and she had to stop it. This does. Donkey demons who rip people's guts out, but he can't help one actress from a psycho? What is your thing? Yeah, what is your childhood trauma, Angel? <laughs> well, we know what his is, close. but... Because mm. of his curse? Oh! Angel! Woo! Not the base, not the whole shell. Listen, I thought this would be easy work. That man is crafty, okay? Are you... Oh yeah, he has no reflection. No reflection. Dark private office. Instantly knowing those letters weren't written in blood. I guess what I would think is vampire. Then again. Which is it? Oh damn, she put that together fast. They're vampires. Frank Langella was the only performance I believed, but this is real. You're real. Touch him, will you be cold? Mm -mm. He's in shock. <laughs> he ain't never met no LA people like this. You realize how rare that is? True happiness? And what are the odds he'd find it with an actress? What's that supposed to mean? Right. I, was... I don't like her and Angel. I don't want that to be a thing, but what was that supposed to mean? And you brought a call. And along with three double half cap non fat skinny lots. Across? And across. Well, judging by the outfit, I guess it's safe to come in. She's so People unserious. Left you here to rummage through her things? Uh, no. <laughs> I told her I was a vampire and that daytime patio dining was out. Did you just make a joke? I only told her. Wow. 
So he thinks she'd still set me up with mm. her manager? Right. Set your girl up. Listen, her outfit's been killing the whole time she's been on screen, okay? You canceled. She do. Angel? He looks so hot. Oh my god. Oh, her dress. Oh, girl, the neck. The neck. These things for the photo op. My driving notes to meet me out back. God, if I had to sit through every one of these from sheer force. The driver knows. Back up. That took entirely way too long, but we love the action. She might know that man. Not again. Are you all right? I came as soon as I heard. And when was that exactly? What do you mean? I know the stalker. I've seen him. At your house? He's a stuntman. You used to represent him. I never would have let you get hurt. You must believe that. <gasps> I didn't get the part, did I? I was gonna tell you tonight. The network suddenly feels that you're too mature for the role. That nobody stays young forever. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm sure you're going to make it really big. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to squeal She's like that so in public. Cute. <laughs> anyway, thank you for calling. You must have a ton of friends you could have asked. Yeah. I don't know. But Is she using Cordy? The next time I try something so corny, I promise not to ruin your wardrobe in the process. Is she trying to roofie him? Girl, what the hell? It used to be um, a long time ago. I heard a lot of people. Oh my god. Get this freaking no, leech off of my boy right it's now. True. Girl, go away. Bad. Wait. She roofied him with the drug. Is that gonna make him feel happy? Like true happiness? Even if it is, it's like artificially done? Oh my God. Y'all, I'm scared. Hopefully it just makes him loopy and he just like goes to sleep or something. You know, just a little bite bite, a little bite bite. Oh, I, I forgot in this world they can't stop, right? Girl, get out of there. Even if it's not, he doesn't turn into Angelus. Girl, you're screwed. Get out of there. You don't have to. You can have what you've been craving all these long, empty years. We both can. Forever. <laughs> We won't have to be lonely, either one of us, ever again. You're wrong. You don't know what it is you're asking me to do. Of course I know. I'm not a fool. There's a price. I understand that. You couldn't possibly understand. This isn't about the way the studio, or the network, or your fans see you. It's about how you see yourself. Your own reflection has been corrupted into something unrecognizable. You think you want it to stay the same? What you really want is to make it disappear. You're supposed to help people. You might have ate her up. Oh my gosh. Help me. You want me to help you? Fine. <gasps> what are you doing? Big decision, Ooh. Rebecca. Eternity. <laughs> you need to taste what it is you're really asking for. Something in my drink. I just wanted you to relax a little, Angel. Lower the defenses a little. What was it? Just a little. Happy thing. Perfectly happy. Oh, bitch, run! Run! Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> now he took a second oh, there. God, this stuff. Wow! I'll keep your head on a stick as proof. 
My head on a stick. Well, okay. Pike. <laughs> tell you what. I'll torture you for a few unbelievably long hours, then you can tell me if this is the lifestyle for you. <laughs> Do it. I'm not running anymore. Now that I respect. <laughs> them didn't you right <laughs> doximo doxy what powerful tranquilizer it induces bliss bliss as in bliss sheer contentment perfect happiness it's synthetic not true happiness right this is huh? reasonably sure he's got the power he done cut off the light <laughs> he does have the power oh, looks God. like somebody didn't pay the power bill Unless you listen to reason, I warn you. You're warning me. What happened, Wes? Did you suddenly grow a pair? Well, that's oh, it, no. isn't it? I mean, that's the whole root of your inferiority complex. Well, good news, Wes, old boy. You don't really have an inferiority complex. You're just simply inferior. <laughs> Damn. Paul is not as devoted to me. You were really, let me tell you, that. Stop it. Why? <laughs> you didn't. I mean, I've been to hell, but that was so much worse. It actually suck. Back off. Damn. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Met me. One more step and you'll find out that I hadn't prepared for it. Why do you think I have a stake stashed in my desk, a cross in my bag? Every second Tuesday by Father Mackey, the local parish priest, while you're down in the bat cave, sleeping through the better part of the day. <laughs> You don't believe me? Right. That was a good bluff. That was a real good bluff. All right. All right, give the girl an Oscar. Oh, oh, they pushed Angel. <laughs> Another reading on that line, please. Rebecca, is she? Gone. Oh, and no, she won't be keeping you on retainer as her bodyguard. I think it best if we simply put it behind us. Move on. Wes is so understanding. Best boy. I don't envy you. Leslie. Wes moves up there. Aww. Forget about it. But I really didn't mean mm, it. Yes, you did. And I'd appreciate it if you didn't try to weasel out of it. Angelus may not be the most relaxing company, but at least he's honest. Shouldn't I expect the same from the not evil version of my friends? So we're okay then. I'm too big of a person to let something so petty get in the way of our friendship. I'm tired, are you? Mm -mm. Sorry, Angel. Guys? I just need another guys and it'll hit it for me. Oh, what a very interesting episode. I was thrown off, but I I thought it was really cool how it really felt like a a star and her bodyguard and then he takes the case and it's like she's got this stalker, but I was suspicious of that whole thing because her and her agent kept talking about how her um career was going downhill i think that's very interesting for somebody from such a big show um and of course it seems like she wants to move into being a movie star from tv um but she should at least be getting some roles but i think that she's just not willing to take roles that are gonna set her in the same lane trying to try something new but it was just so messed up how she went about it like Angel was really right she's very art superficial she's just like the people that she was talking about which I found very interesting like you are just like the people in LA you are that person girl 
she tried to roofie him to get what she wanted was so sick i lost all respect for that girl she better not step in front of my sight i better not see her in frame in frame ever she literally pissed me off so bad like disgusting behavior um but wes really pulled through this episode he's so sweet such so understanding i just love seeing that growth going from buffy to angel and just seeing wes's growth throughout this whole thing it's just so amazing like i love him truly and cordy always the comedian always the girl's girl okay she is that girl um and i just love to see that interaction um between her and angel and even angelus like that was very like very funny and the fact that he couldn't even tell if she was bucking or not like i love how she played it real bad okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll check you guys out next time bye